Good to have you with us tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. The rising star of the Republican Party believes African-Americans, they can't think for themselves. Herman Cain is on a roll after winning the Florida straw poll on Saturday. The pizza man has become a hero of right-wing talkers all over America and is surging in the polls. The latest Fox News poll shows that Herman Cain, right on the heels of Rick Perry and within striking distance of Mitt Romney. Kane is, I guess you could say, the get interview of the week for the righties. And he starred in Psycho Talk last night for making this comment. Many African-Americans have been brainwashed into not being open-minded, not even considering a conservative point of view. I have received some of that same vitriol simply because I am running for the Republican nomination as a conservative. So it's just brainwashing and people not being open-minded, pure and simple. Not being open-minded? Well, my radio audience went nuts when they heard that. Herman Cain saying that kind of stuff about how many African-Americans have been brainwashed by Democrats. For Cain to broad brush so many African Americans, I think is offensive. And it shows really he's an intellectual lightweight. Maybe a good business guy, but he doesn't have the pulse of the people. Not, you know, not all African Americans are Democrats. Can we state that? But most of them are because Democrats have fought for their rights. It's not just Civil Rights Act and affirmative action. Democrats fight for social and economic justice for every American. Republicans, let's put the cards on the table. Do they not have an ugly history of racism? The Southern strategy is all about race and radical politics. South Carolina Senator Jim DeMint reminded us of that with a shocking comment about President Obama. If we're able to stop Obama on this, it will be his Waterloo. It will break him. Break him is an old racist term in the South. And Jim DeMint knows it. For the past three years, DeMint's Tea Party has carried racist signs all over America. African-American members of Congress have been spit on and called the N-word. And the most powerful Republican in America spews this garbage every day. We have to bend over, grab the ankles, bend over forward, backward, whichever, because his father was black, because this is the first black president. How do you get promoted in a Barack Obama administration? By hating white people. In Obama's America, the white kids now get beat up with the black kids cheering. Yeah, right on, right on, right on, right on. A triple-double Oreo. It's actually a biracial cookie. You wait, it isn't going to be long before it's going to be called the Orbamio or something like this. Barack, the magic Negro. Do, 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 do. How many votes did Obama get because he was black? Shocking number, folks. If Obama weren't black, he'd be a tour guide in Honolulu. Herman Cain has turned a blind eye to the ugly racism coming out of his own party. When it comes to issues African Americans care about, Cain's belief system falls right in line with DeMint and Limbaugh. Where is Kane on minimum wage? Well, he was against it. Where is he on universal health care? He's against that, too. Where is he on collective bargaining? Can't stand it. In fact, he's a deregulator who wants to get rid of the EPA, and he's not at all mindful about shipping jobs overseas. He doesn't care about that. Kane's policies don't benefit African Americans or any other working class American. Kane isn't the first black Republican to infer African-Americans can't think for themselves. Here's how Congressman Alan West put it. You have this 21st century plantation that has been out there where the Democrat Party has forever taken the black vote for granted. And you have established certain black leaders who are nothing more than the overseers of that plantation. And now the people on that plantation are upset because they've been uh, disregarded, disrespected, and their concerns are not cared about. So I'm here as the uh, modern day Harriet Tubman to kind of lead people on the Underground Railroad <laughs> away from that plantation. Herman Cain and Alan West are free to believe what they want. But if they are going to say their beliefs are better for an entire minority group, they should point to some policy that proves it, don't you think? African Americans have every right to think Republicans aren't on their side. They remember these pictures of the last Republican president parting with John McCain when thousands of African Americans in New Orleans were trapped by Hurricane Katrina. We can never forget. Herman Cain is the first 2012 candidate to play the race card, and it just might work. Cain is trying to divide Americans along racial lines. And I think tonight that white Republicans love it. 
Get your cell phones out. I want to know what you think. Tonight's question, are Herman Cain's comments out of line? Text A for yes, text B for no to 622-639. And you can always go to our blog at ed.msnbc.com. Results of the poll coming up later on in the show. Joining me tonight is Congresswoman Maxine Waters of California. Maxine, great to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your Thank time. Thank you. What, what is your response to Herman Cain saying that African Americans are brainwashed to vote for Democrats? Well, you know, I think that uh, he has been terribly uh, disrespectful. Uh, at the same time that he's calling us brainwashed, uh, then he turns around and talks about uh, one third to 50 percent uh, may be uh, in support of him. And I think that's ridiculous. Uh, not only are we not brainwashed, we know how to act in our own best interest. That's why most of us are Democrats. Who in their right mind? African-American would belong to a party uh, that is as mean-spirited uh, as we see coming out of the Republican Party. They don't care about uh, poor people. They don't care even about working-class people. They don't care about senior citizens. Just take a look at the legislation that was unveiled today that came out of the Labor, Health and Human Services Subcommittee, where they're talking about taking away the subsidy from the elderly uh, for heating uh, assistance, where they're talking about cutting uh, the Pell Grants, where they're talking about uh, cutting public broadcasting, where they're talking about pulling the rug out from under the most vulnerable people in our society. Who wants to belong to a party like that? And besides, uh, this is a party that he's in that honors and respects a David Duke. I understand he's going to be their revered speaker at one of their events. So are we brainwashed or is he brainwashed? Is he pandering to white Republicans? You know that he is. And this little temporary bump in the road that he's gotten, that's gotten him believing that they're going to vote for him, uh, he really is off base. They're not going to vote for him. And blacks are not going to vote for him either. Uh, not simply because he's disrespected us so uh, in these uh, statements about us being brainwashed, but because, again, we act in our own best interest. We know what is best for us. We all have to fight very hard uh, to make sure that we uh, get uh, the most that we can get in terms of good public policy for everybody and for African Americans. But the Democratic Party not only has demonstrated that it is prepared to do the kind of public policy that will benefit most of the people and certainly African Americans. Yeah. And so, uh, yes, he is pandering. One final point. African American unemployment is at 16.7%. Uh, do you have uh, any idea what the Republicans want to do for these Americans to get them back to work other than give tax breaks to the rich? They don't want to do anything. As a matter of fact, in this same bill that I'm referring to, they just cut the job training programs for the one-stop centers. Uh, they're cutting jobs as they make cuts throughout this budget, which means that uh, they are undermining our economy. Yeah. Uh, people don't have jobs. They can't invest in the economy. They can't spend money. They don't want to do anything about the 16.7 unemployment. Uh, and I don't expect him to. That's why blacks are not voting uh, for Republicans. Yeah. He's certainly not going to vote for him. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, thanks for your time tonight. Appreciate it so much. Now let's turn to Joe Watkins, MSNBC political analyst and Republican political strategist, and Dr. James Peterson, director of Africana Studies and associate professor of English at Lehigh University. Gentlemen, thanks for your time tonight. Thanks Joe, let me ask you, do, Joe, do you think that African Americans have been brainwashed to vote for Democrats? I think that what Herman Cain said is what uh, a smart businessman who's now a candidate would say. I mean, remember, here's a guy who made his, uh, his, his name in business by turning around failed franchises, and he did it by getting people to take a second look at them. And he's doing the same thing now as a candidate for the presidency. He's getting Republicans to take a second look at him, and now he's moved into the first into But the does top he believe tier. that? Do you believe that black Americans have been brainwashed? I believe that black Americans are sophisticated voters and that black Americans are loyal voters. I think Herman Cain is saying the same thing. Uh, blacks have been very, very loyal as Democrats. Before that, we were loyal as Republican voters because we voted with the Republican Party from the time of Lincoln up until the mid-1950s. And so he's saying that we have a history of loyalty. And what he's trying to get voters to do is to take a look at him. Okay. Dr. Peterson, your thoughts on his comment. Do you agree with Joe Watkins?
No, although Joe's doing a great job of cleaning this up, this is absolutely insane on the part of, of, of Herman Cain. Basically, to say that black folk are brainwashed is a just direct commentary on, on the intellectual capacity, and it's so sweeping that it's so stereotypical. To me, I think it's, it's repulsive. But listen, you and Congresswoman Waters are absolutely right. Black folk vote based upon the issues. Republicans are anti-Medicare, anti-Social Security, anti the Jobs Act, anti uh, uh, the, 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 the things that black folk take most seriously and find most Joe, what important. about that? Well, Herman Cain would say, take a look at my background. He's the son of a chauffeur and a no, cleaning lady. No, I want you to answer no, no, to no, what no, Dr. I, I, Peterson I, I, just said. And, and he's saying, look at my tax policy. It's my 999 tax okay. policy. He says, I, I, I'm not an unfair or unsophisticated person. I, I've got programs that you may like if you look at them. Don't just, you can't broad brush any party. You can't broad brush and say all Democrats are bad and don't know what they're talking about. You can't say all Republicans are, are bad and don't know what they're talking about. But there, Joe, there, Joe, there, there but, are, but, but, Hold on a second now. We, we did see the Ryan plan pass in the House. Now, are you saying that African-Americans uh, are opposed to that because they didn't have the right information because they were brainwashed by Democrats? I mean, the fact is, is that they want to voucher Medicare and Medicaid, which obviously helps a lot of minorities in this country. Well, so well, it, dep it depends even, on who you're talking to. Of course, there are some African-American people who are in business who feel that uh, that the 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 the, uh, the health care program that's been advanced in the past by the president uh, doesn't help small businesses. N not every small business person will say that, but many will say that including African-Americans who happen to be in small business. And so Herman Cain is saying, take a look, he's somebody who has a history in business. He had no advantage as an African-American. He grew up in the segregated South. He's somebody who was given values by his parents and by his church and went to college and graduate school and has succeeded immense, I mean, incredibly successful in a... So you don't think brainwashing goes... You don't think brainwashing goes too far. I mean, he, he it's not an intellectual shot at African-Americans, Joe. Absolutely not. Okay. What he's saying is that James, you think are it loyal. Is. And James, loyal well, it's, it's, it certainly is. And you know what? Herman Cain needs to hire you, Joe, because, again, you're cleaning this up really well. <laughs> but they're anti-education. Look, they cheer the death penalty, with the, with, which is one of the most racist federal and state policies that we have. I mean, the, the things that the Republican Party, especially now, represent are not the things that the Republican Party represented when I was a young man. Well, well when, we look, when we look at the you situation remember, now, when you were a young man, you remember that the Republican Party was the party that, that sided with Lyndon Johnson to get the Civil Rights Bill passed, to get the Voting Rights Act passed. That's even a little bit before my grant. time. That's even of course, a little bit before my time. Guy, again, young man. again, Joe, you, you can you can certainly clean this up. I don't think that we should be defending what Herman Cain is saying here. He's out of his mind. The bottom well, line is black folk I vote think, with the issues, uh, and I yes, think a lot black, of those issues happen to reside within the Democratic Party. Black people ought to take a second look at Herman Cain. There's a reason why he's moved up into the top tier of candidates. He has no special well, advantage other than his intellect and uh, his drive and determination. Joe, is he pandering to white Republicans? I don't think so. I think he's uh, saying what he... He's a very blunt guy. He's says what he believes, and sometimes it's popular, sometimes well, it's not. if he says what he believes, he thinks that black Americans are uh, brainwashed. brainwashed. And this well, he thinks that African Americans are loyal as voters. Okay. And, and that's not what he voters, said, though, Joe. Take a look he at said him. brainwashed. You're saying loyal, which is a great cleanup, but he said brainwashed. And listen, this is the politics of distraction. The Republican Party has become much more homogenous, and the dog whistle racial kind of politics of the Tea Party have been on display for well over two years now. Black folk can see that. We are not dumb. We also are not monolithic. We are new Nuanced, complex. We make Absolutely. sophisticated decisions. I, I, when it agree. Comes to I, I, I agree. I agree. Gentlemen, with that. good Peterson. discussion. Good to have both of you with you. us. Joe Watkins, Dr. Thank James you. Peterson, thanks for your time tonight. We'll do it again. Remember to answer the question right there at the bottom of the screen. We want to know what you think and tweet me your thoughts at Ed Show. Coming up, a new poll shows the Republican voters are more enthusiastic than Democrats when it comes to the 2012 election. Why the left needs to get motivated now. My commentary next. And the Postal Service is moving forward with a plan to close thousands of post offices in all 50 states. This is a huge story. It will affect small business. We will talk to a small business person tonight from the middle of the country to tell you what she's going to face. We're right back.